Ghanaians are accustomed to maize with yellowish grain, popularly called yellow corn. The new maize variety is a vermilion, or orange-fleshed, which is a step ahead of the yellow corn. Even that comes in different shades. The deeper the color, the higher the nutritional content. Trade Secret places a lid on how the CSIR scientists developed the new maize variety. What is however known is that they challenged themselves to break a new ground. A CSIR maize breeder, Dr. Gloria Boachua says the variety does well in the savannah ecological zone. The main mandate of the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute is to develop technologies that would sustain the production and productivity of farmers, specifically in the northern savannah ecologies of Ghana. In the Nyangpala crop fields of the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute, Sari, are 12 to 15 varieties of maize. They are broadly categorized in three groups according to their maturity dates. 110 to 120 days, 90 days, as well as 80 to 85 days. The orange variety is developed to meet needs of farmers. Some are designed for early maturation before drought sets in and to resist unfavorable agricultural conditions associated with climatic changes. It's not just about the yield. It's also about how the variety performs when there are stresses and it has become a common occurrence. Drought incidences have increased over the years and then our soils are getting poorer and then um, we have high levels of weed incidence, most especially striga. So these varieties are actually what we categorize as climate smart varieties. On this occasion, the farmers had come to the maize fields to examine the grains and attach labels on their preferred varieties. Information obtained, the research scientists could then narrow down to a few of the varieties for further improvement. Early generation seeds are given to farmers from whom commercial seed growers take to the market. If you are late in planting, you can plant them and still have enough within the season for the crop to grow. If you are too sure of when there will be terminal drought, you can plant such that your crops mature before the drought sets in. And those that are also fortunate to have access to irrigation facilities can do multiple cropping two, three times in, in the season. Breeders worked on the orange-fledged maize variety over a six-year period. It looked not only at need to boost productivity for food security, but also nutritional security. Dr. Gloria Boachua, who is one of the maize breeders at Sari, had her rudimentary and professional education in Ashanti, culminating in her degrees at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi. She says she initially wanted to make a career out of her pastime, which is hairdressing. Once she secured good grades in science subjects at secondary school, her father encouraged her to pursue science. Today, she is research scientist with the CSIR, Ghana's foremost scientific organization, Napoleon Atukitu Nyangpala.